Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Animal Kingdom. Hurricane Ian is making its way to Florida, so I wanted to come out, take advantage of this beautiful weather we've been having, ride some of my favorite rides, and also try some of the new food that they have for the month of September and October. But most importantly, just have a beautiful Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. Like I said, it is a beautiful day out right now. It's kind of hard to believe that there is like a category three hurricane making its way to Florida. The skies are just crystal blue, no dark clouds in sight. And that's why I wanna just have fun and enjoy the day here. I normally like to come out to the parks at least once a month to show you guys any new offerings that they may have But I've been doing so many incredible things in the month of September I haven't been able to make it out here yet, and I know they're celebrating National Hispanic Heritage Month So they have some new food items maybe over at the Nomad Lounge Which is one of my favorite places to go and also I wanted to explore around Dino Land USA Because it's been on my mind since getting back from the D23 Expo it's always nice to see the different wildlife you'll find strolling through the park here at Animal Kingdom. Kevin is uh, a beautiful example of that. She's so majestic. Look at her. I'm pretty positive Nomad Lounge has barrier tacos and Cuban sliders, and I'm all about that. So I'm going to try to join the walk-up list so that we can actually go and try those new items out. And any excuse to go to a Nomad Lounge is a good excuse. During the expo, there was a lot of talk about what they wanted to do with Dino Land. I mean, I love it over here. Dinosaur is one of my all-time favorite rides. And they were talking about Moana and then also Zootopia. But let me know what you guys think. What, what would you like to see happen? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't mind more dinosaur rides, though, because I just, I think I love dinosaurs. Honestly, I was not upset when they tore down Primeval World. I do not like those types of rides. Like, those rides scare me. Like, that type of track system. Uh, I feel like you get so close to the edge and stuff like that. And I was kind of excited to see what they would have built up around there. And then when they said that uh, they were just going to leave it vacant at the moment, there's still no real answer to that question. So it's really cool to just imagine and picture what they can do with the area. Honestly, I feel like they can keep Dino Land USA and just get rid of Chester and Hester's Dino Rama. I mean, I mean that's a nice area. I do like it a lot, especially I like the Triceratops spin. But if they're looking to add something new, I mean they can keep this separate and still keep Dino Land and Dinosaur Attraction on its own over here. Do you know what I mean? Like you can have two different areas. In fact, I think we're going to actually go ride Dinosaur right now since we're in this area. I have a couple of rides that I actually want to do today. I want to do Expedition Everest. I want to do uh, Cali River Rapids, maybe Kilimanjaro Safaris. But since we're over here, I might as well. I mean, like I said, it is one of my all-time favorite rides. Look at all of the characters out and about in Dinorama, though. Look at this. Oh, and there's Donald right there. Look at, uh, this is this is high class entertainment right here. Look at Donald. He definitely steals the show sometimes. Well, I was excited to ride Dinosaur, but it looks like it went down for technical difficulties. And I wasn't waiting long, so I figured I would just leave and head on over to Expedition Everest and then always stop back here. It wasn't a long wait anyway, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like I invested a long time. And Expedition Everest has a low wait time, so we're going to head over there instead. There it is, Expedition Everest, looking beautiful as always. I love it so much. This is definitely one of the best themed roller coasters in the world. And uh, it always cools you down too. It always makes you a lot cooler after riding. Also pro tip, Expedition Everest has a single rider line and it's usually like a zero minute wait. So always check that out if you don't mind riding by yourself. And here comes our ride vehicle now. And we're doing front row. I'm pretty positive I can keep my hat on this whole ride without it falling off. Oh, this feels so good, this beginning part right here. Oh my god!
at this. Look at Spaceship Earth, Tower of Terror. I might need to hang on to the hat for this part though. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Ah! Ah! completely cooled off already. Looks like somebody dropped their Magic Band Plus right there. Also looks like it's the partner statue one. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's right there. I wonder if it'll set off like a notification of where it's at. I always look to see what they dropped on the rides. Oh, yep, see it's right here. I love Everest. It really is such a fun, amazingly themed ride. And now it's time to get something to eat. And I think we're gonna head over near Nomad Lounge because I was gonna try to join the walk-up list, but it said I was not, I was too far away over here at Everest. So we're gonna keep walking until I can actually join. It says it's a 50 minute wait and it won't let me join. I'm like, please let me join. I'm really close now. I'm making my way almost back to Dino Land. Any second now. There we go, we made it. Now it's a 40 minute wait, but it took me all the way until I got basically into Discovery Island to be able to put myself in. And just like that, bada bing, bada boom, we are on the list. And I like how they have the walk up list for things like this. I mean, it'd be cool if you just walk up and go in, but you know, a good place is always gonna be busy and they're gonna need to have a return time. So we'll wait for that. And uh, if uh, we have time, maybe ride another ride. Looks like we're walking by right in time for Kite Tales to be going off. Look at this, I also hear this show is gonna be leaving soon too. I love it, I like the Jungle Book one better than the Lion King. Oh, look at that. Pretty, they remind me of the Epcot Forever kites. It looks like we won't have enough time to ride a ride before we head in the Nomad Lounge because they already called us and told us our table's ready. And it wasn't even 40 minutes. That's awesome. And here is a look outside. They have a menu of the Hispanic Heritage Month specials. They have uh, Cuban Frida uh, sliders, which is a beef and pork patty with shoestring potatoes and yuca fries. Then they also have a berry taco with veal. That sounds amazing. Some tres leches, a blood orange sour, a lot of good stuff. So we'll try as much as we can. But I do love getting the tempting Tigress. This is a good one. It's a nice play on an old fashioned. This lounge is such an awesome place to just come and relax. I actually opted in for sitting outside today because it's a really nice day, but they do have a nice inside with some good AC. And I, like I said, the food's always amazing here. Look at this. And we have one of the best seats in the house because you get to see all the characters come by. Hey, look it. Wow, that is really cool. Very, very special, right? I can definitely go for a cup of coffee. They have amazing press pot coffees that they actually serve at Tiffin's, and I think you can get them here at the Nomad Lounge. To start off, I decided to get myself a little press pot coffee. You know, I love getting the press pot coffee here, and they brought it out, and they gave me some steamed milk, some brown sugar. Like, look at this whole setup. Isn't this impressive? I like it a lot. And then my friend Texas Takes actually sent me over one of my favorite drinks. How cool is that? So now we've got some coffee, some water, and some bourbon. Everything you need. This is so cool because if you guys noticed on the way in, I pointed this drink out and said this was my favorite drink. So cheers, cheers to the Texas Takes. Now we gotta make our coffee and I wanted to show you the food came out. Here are the tacos and look at that Cosme right there. I cannot wait to dive into that. And then of course we have the Cuban sliders with the yuca fries and these look amazing. Wow, these are gonna be some really good food. But first, we gotta enjoy a little coffee. Grab some brown sugar there. Got the press pot. Oh, a little slippery little sucker. It's like pretty woman. Boop. <laughs> we'll drop two, two in there. Some of the steamed milk. Thump, 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 thump. Oh, that's burning my finger. Some hot coffee on a hot day. 
I do think that's a good idea. I don't. <laughs> oh, so good though. Enough of the coffee business. Let's get down to the taco business. And I am so excited to try these. I love this. And I love just dipping it in there. It can be a little bit messy. Just be one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We missed a, a, a very important thing here. Got to take that line. And we got to. There we go. Just a little bit. Get it all on there. And then we dunk. Then we dunk. Now, I'm very excited to try these. They said the cheese is kind of like a very stringy mozzarella. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, I'm excited. They look amazing. Wow. So much flavor. Holy moly. Honestly, there is just so much happening in there. So much flavor. And I love it. The, the uh, the meat itself is perfectly seasoned, and you best believe I'm gonna be using some of this for some of that. We're gonna be mixing things around. In fact, I might do a little bit of that with a little bit of this for the yucca fries. Don't. Honestly, I think I could probably dip anything into that. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, but now it's time to get to the little Cuban sliders. I should probably try it on its own before I start dipping, but uh, I feel like I'm gonna like these the most. I mean, I do like the tacos a lot. It is very, very good, but these just look so amazing. The buns are nice and fluffy, and I can see the uh, potato straws on there. This is like the perfect little uh, slider for me. So here we go. I mean, we're just going in for it. This is absolutely amazing. And the funny thing is, is you would think all of this kind of looks like it's spicy, but it's not spicy, especially with the seasoning on the lime. But oh my lord, I cannot even begin to imagine how good this is going to taste right here. Now believe me, the sliders on the Rome definitely are just a rock star menu item on itself. But combining these together are probably going to be like what it's like when worlds collide. And I'm so excited. I don't know if you can normally get this. I wonder if you can ask for it on the side even though you don't get the tacos. But here we go. Perfect, 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 right there. That's the bite. That's the best thing so far. If I was to choose between both of them, I would have to go with the sliders though, because those were just so good. But I think you need more consomme with the uh, the tacos, you know what I mean? Like I feel like you need more. They only give you like, not even two ounces, probably an ounce maybe. Uh, I wonder if you can ask for extra, like if you could, Definitely do that. And also, sitting out here is super hot when the sun is setting on this side of the park. So be warned, if you come here around 3, 4 o'clock and you're close to the window, be prepared because it is very, very hot. <laughs> this is me hiding from the sun. It's pretty bad. Ah! <laughs> I feel like I just got to keep it like that. There we go. We're good. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> There we go. Ah, oh, this is good. This is enjoying life. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't help that I'm actually drinking coffee, but I need the energy, you know? I actually just got back from a really fun adventure and uh, I had a lot. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys about that. My friend who is a pilot asked me if I wanted to go on a little adventure with him and I was like, yeah. So he has a, a private plane and it's a you know small Cherokee plane and it only fits four people in there. So me, uh, my friend, and then my friend the pilot all decided to just take a random flight all the way up to Jekyll Island. It's an island uh, by the ocean off of uh, Georgia and it was amazing like we went up just for 24 hours We did so many amazing things. I didn't even bring my like I brought my camera and I thought about making a video But I just enjoyed myself and hung out and made memories. We went to a, a place called uh, Driftwood Beach And it was so beautiful But most of that stuff I put on my Instagram stories and I did a little highlight reel too So if you follow me on Instagram, just go check the little highlighted section that says Jekyll Island It was a great trip and it felt good to kind of just get away. That's why I haven't posted a video in probably four days. You know, uh, I was just out and about in Georgia, flying over Georgia. <laughs> Maybe 
now that we've gotten done at Nomad Lounge, like I said, I wanted to get dessert somewhere else. And over at Pizza Fari, they have an Encanto cupcake, and it's like a Tres Leches cupcake. So I mobile ordered one and figured we'd grab one and go from Pizza Fari to uh, Kilimanjaro Safari. Wow, and here it is, and I have to say, I am impressed. This is the first time I've ever seen the uh, cupcake uh, icing ratio be more towards cupcake side. Like, there's not like a gigantic icing glob on top, and that makes me feel like I have high hopes for this cupcake. And it's Tres Leches. It's so funny because normally when you get cupcakes, like I said, the icing is like a gigantic glob on top, but this one, it looks good. I, I've never seen a cupcake this well balanced. So hopefully we'll see what it's like. We're gonna cut in it, cut down the half. I also like to see how they incorporated the tres leches in it, you know what I mean? Like, where's the milk? You think it's in the center? The chocolate actually melted. Look at, look at this poor little thing. It's melting, oh, now it's stuck to my knife. There we go. All right, let's cut right down the center here. Destroy this beautiful cupcake a little bit. Oh wait, first I gotta take it out of the wrapper, right? Yeah, let's do that first. I don't know where the cupcake, oh, this is a fancy wrapper. Oh my Lord, what? This is so that you can take it out so easily. Look, cause it opens up. Oh, this is a game changer. Look at this. So you might be able to just pop this right out. What? I've never seen Disney use a wrapper like this before either. So we're gonna just pull it out here, I guess. Oh wait, no we're not, because it's Tres Leches. That's why it's like this. Wow, what a fool I am, huh? <laughs> that is so funny. And I just said that too, but you can look. It's a very milky cake at the bottom there. <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> I really love how things just started clicking for me. You know what I mean? It all just started clicking for me. And I'm like, wait a second. So it's not like a traditional cupcake because you can't really take it out of there. And, uh, you know, if you guys had Tres Leches before, you know it's a very milky, wet cake. So I'm just going to have to grab a little fork and we're going to have to dissect it a little bit. It's still way more cake than icing, though. So here we go. First bite. Wow. You can really, really see the uh, center there. Look at that, I've never had boba bowls in uh, Tres Leches cake before either, but it's a very, very wet cake. It is definitely one of the better cupcakes I've ever had here too. I mean, I think the Tres Leches part really plays into it, but Disney's known for not having the best cupcakes. This one though, I kind of enjoy. And I guess I can say that the Encanto cupcake was a win. Very, very delicious. And now it's time to go from Beat Safari to Kilimanjaro Safaris. And it's only a 10 minute wait. Look at that. Perfect time of the day too. So they might be uh, feeding the animals right now. That's always the time I like to come. I'm thinking maybe after we ride Kilimanjaro Safaris, maybe we'll head on over to Cali River Rapids. I tend to wait for that to be later in the video because there's a good chance I might get soaked and be a soggy bottom boy. Looks like our uh, safari is about to begin. Let's go. A Santi San, a squash banana. Jumbo, everyone. Jumbo. I'll be your safari driver this afternoon. Wow, I've never seen these bongos on the move like this. In the wild, we can tell the males apart from the females because the males have that darker brown color on the front half of their body, and the females are the same color throughout. So we have one male there to the left, and the rest are females. On Look our right hand side, we have an okapi. It has black and white stripes on its legs, so many think it is. I think it's definitely close to feeding time. Where'd all those crocodiles go? Look at it. <laughs> They're all gone. Must be cleaning. <laughs> Best hunters in all of oh wow, you could see a hyena actually eating right there. Let me try to zoom in. Look at that. Look at this giraffe right here. It's like blending in with the tree. But you could see him eating. That is so cool looking. <laughs> His neck is literally exactly with the tree right here. He's just like sticking his head up. Oh lord, there's another one too. Wow, so cute. Oh, so cute. 
All right, who let the water buck in the wart hard burrow? That's so funny. Oh, there's one right there. There's a little. Oh, we got a rhino too. Wow. Oh, and then the baby rhino. That was such an awesome safari. And I got to witness a lot of things for the first time that I've never seen before. Like I've never seen the uh, wild dogs or hyenas actually eating. So many animals in different areas too. Like I've never seen them like that far out. Like the water buck uh, over by the warthogs and then the giraffes near the elephant area there. And then the missing crocodiles. I mean, it was really cool and it was feeding time. So I highly suggest if you want to come do Kilimanjaro safaris, then look between like four and 5.30ish because right now oh look i almost went to go look to see what time it was on my magic man but i think right now it's like a little bit after five and uh i don't know what time they feed maybe a little bit beforehand but that was so amazing it's the best time to go now i think it's time we make our way over to cali river rapids it definitely looks like it got a little bit more like gloomy out clouds got a little bit gray and i think the park is starting to clear out so it's probably not a long wait for cali river rapids and i don't mind getting wet at the end of the day the only thing i don't like getting wet are my shoes honestly it's like as soon as i said that it started raining like it literally just started raining and I don't have a great shoe game. Normally I wear Crocs to the park because if I get like on a rainy day then I don't have wet soggy sneakers but I decided to wear my special Air Monarchs, you know, the, the, the really comfy shoes and I don't want them to get too wet so I'm gonna have to be careful but we're still doing Cali River Rapids. I actually brought my GoPro just for that. Normally, I would probably be hiding from this rain right now because I didn't want to get wet. But like, we're really just gonna walk right on the Cali River Rapids right now with the possibility of getting soaked. So we're just going for it. Now you're probably gonna hear a slight audio difference when I switch over to the GoPro, but that way, you know, the camera's gonna stay in good running condition and I don't have to put it away when we get to the parts where you get wet. I can just let it happen. So that'd be a lot funner. And I don't know why I haven't thought of this before. Usually I just brave it and I bring my camera, I put it in a little bag. I do have a bag right here. I get it at the gift shop on my way uh, in and I put all of my good possessions in there because you know what I mean? You don't wanna get your batteries electric and watered and you know, your wallet. So the camera's going in the bag and the GoPro's coming out. Got it right here in my pocket. Double doing it today. How you doing? Woo. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good. One of us is gonna get wet here. We're ready. The storm is a coming. I like that we're going into the fog like this. Ooh, I hear lions, t tigers. Actually, do you see the tiger face in the water fountain right here? In the waterfall, I don't know if you see it or not. It's such a cool little touch there. It is actually really raining kind of heavy. Big drops, big drops of rain. Yeah, big drops of rain. I'd rather it be raining on a wet ride though, right? Ooh, it's really cold. Oh, it's coming down now. There it is. There's Everest. Oh boy. Okay, it's really coming down. Oh no. We might have made a mistake. Oh no. We're coming up on the big drop soon. Oh, we're getting soaked right now. Holy moly. There's the big drop. Someone's gonna get soaked here. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be you, whoever goes down first. No, oh no. 
No, no, not me. No, 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 no. Oh, oh wow. Ah, we're turning. Oh, that was warm. The water warmed me up. <laughs> If they would say, hey, you want to go again? I think I'd go again. I'm already wet. I'm already wet. Dude, I'm all <laughs> go again. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> As I sit here, it's soaking wet. I don't regret my decision. It feels great. I just don't want my shoes to get wet. I hate the sound of wet shoes. I hate the feel of wet shoes too. If you got, and you can't take your shoes off on this ride. No shoes. No shoes. No service. Well, boy, oh boy, this might be the probably most soaked I've ever been coming out of a park. I mean, there's not a single dry part of my body or my glasses. I can't see anything. I mean. I'm soaked, and it was really cool. I'm so happy that we had that GoPro on there uh, on the, on the, with us while we got to ride. We actually got to ride it twice. We got to ride it back to back, and the family that was riding with me were so awesome. So thank you guys. We really got to know each other. D-Man, you were so cool. And it's funny because they didn't think we were gonna be able to ride again, so when I was like hyping it up, I'm like, let's ride again. And then we got to the uh, part where we'd have to get out of the vehicle. I was like, one more time. And they were like, go ahead, go. They were like, wait, what? And they didn't think that we could and then they were like oh boy and we just got wet like we just we just stayed in and just got completely soaked so it was such a fun memorable experience now it's time to make our way out and uh, probably get home Gracie's probably wondering what all this lightning's about because she you know she doesn't like the lightning and thunder so maybe check on her and uh, probably end it out from there I gotta dry off though I mean I can't I can't see anything. I, the glasses are completely like gone. And I don't even have my hat on. I'm bald. Where is she at? The most beautiful girl on earth. Gracie girl. <laughs> you want a cookie? Gracie, you want a cookie? What? Huh? What? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Ready? Catch. <laughs> Did that just hit you? Crazy, what's wrong with you? You didn't catch it. Hold on. Here we go. You ready? Here you go. Huh? <laughs> You're so funny. And with that, time to dry off and uh, get into some dry clothes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope everyone is safe with the approaching hurricane. Make sure you take the proper precautions make sure you stay safe especially to all of my friends down in tampa um and i'm gonna monitor it and see how it goes from here uh hopefully i might be able to go out to the parks maybe one or two more days before it actually hits they're saying maybe wednesday wednesday thursday i mean i try to keep up on it but it's really tough and uh me and Gracie will be fine just hanging out whatever comes our way so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video Ani enjoyed making it we'll see you next time bye